pa da pa 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 roll 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 hello everyone and welcome to a developer update for balance mod for the period since the last video until now so the month of june and some july and the half of may anyway let's move on with the update first off we had some issues with our domain renewal i mean we paid the renewal but it didn't happen and long story short, a bot snatched it, so we no longer have balancemod.tf. We're trying to get it sorted, but the provider isn't answering, so it makes that a bit difficult. But we are currently temporarily rebranding to bmod.tf, so go there if you need to see the site. With that out of the way, let's take a look at the items that were changed in this last period. The eviction notice has gotten a bit of a buff here. So you can see the health is draining, and if we switch weapons, it regains the health at twice the rate. So this should make this weapon a lot more viable, because the main problem in the official game is that it recharges very slowly. But with this, it makes it a bit more viable, and we also increase the speed boost from 3 to 5 seconds, so you can get quite the amount of mileage with this. And it combos also really great with different shotguns, especially shotguns like Panic Attack, where you have to get close to the damage. So overall, pretty good change, and looking forward to seeing what you guys do with this one. For the red tape recorder, we have improved the detection, so it's no longer possible to throw this through walls, but instead you need to have a clear line of sight in order for this to activate. Vlog has gotten a minor nerf to damage to buildings, minus 50%. This is primarily to be in style of the other particle weapons that does reduce damage to buildings and also limit the pub stomping potential of ubered flog pyros that can just destroy nests. At least now the pyro has to commit a bit more to destroying each building or perhaps even consider using the home wrecker to maximize damage and a loadout specialty. With the flying guillotine, we have reverted it back to vanilla, except that we've added longer recharge time, so it's not as spammable. So that means we've reduced the damage back to normal, as well as removed the bleed crit combo. However, it still does mini crit damage to rocket jumping targets. As long as they're rocket jumping. The hot hand, we've added another little feature, and that is if you hit a teammate, you speed boost yourself, but your teammate does not get speed boosted. Uh, it still has the other stats from the previous update. This just makes it a bit more viable in the similar turf as the power jack. It's not as reliable because this is teammate melee hit reg, and sometimes it just doesn't register, and you have to be fairly close for this to even work. So yeah, makes it viable and fun crazy combo potential for pyro if you have teammates around of course that is something you can't always control and of course if you whiff right you're just whiffing and you're not doing other stuff the vita saw has gotten a buff the first hit from this will heal for 65 and every subsequent hit will hit for 40 and this will last for 10 seconds so if i hit the spy then wait 10 seconds and then i hit him then i will heal for 65 so i can heal for 65 the first time i hit a teammate and then it will be that. So you can see 65 again. But if another medic hits them for 65 and then I hit them, it will still be 40 because it's per patient hit by the Vitasaw. The timer changes. So that's basically it. Also built a bit more Uber, not much, but it makes it a whole lot more viable in relation to the crossbow that got a big buff in the latest patch where the projectile going through teammates was fixed at a close range. The overdose has also gotten a tweak. We have removed the health drain while active, as well as removing the less clip size penalty because these didn't really do anything. However, we've added a holstering bonus. So it holsters faster, which means you can switch to other weapons more quickly. So if you like build some Uber and then you use this to run, you can quickly switch into the Vitasaw, which already deploys faster and deploys even faster. So you can like do some crazy stuff with this as well as escaping. It also is slightly faster than normal just out of the gate, but as long as you keep building that Uber and you use this, you will also be able to like use this and then quickly switch to the Medigun and start healing right away. And I think it uh, works really well and it's good now, again. The short stop has gotten a slight buff as well. We've increased the reload speed by 5%, so from 10% faster to 
15% faster. So here it is compared to the regular shortstop of the official game. Not the biggest, but uh, it sure increases the DPS, making it better. Oh yeah. The bison has gotten a damage nerf from 200% to 150%, and this also applies to the pompson, which means you will do 56, 59 up close, unless the hitbox glitches like you saw there. And then you will do a minimum of 46 long range. And the reason for this change is that you, instead of three shotting medics, you've now four shot the medics at long range as well. However, you still three shot snipers at long range, doing long range harass like this, which kind of is the theme of the weapon. And the reason for this nerf is that, you know, players in the balance mod has gotten quite good at using this weapon now with the faster projectile speed and the damage. So we had to make some changes in order to keep it fair. The Southern Hospitality has gotten a new feature that's not been seen anywhere before, and that is the ability to phase through your own buildings. That's right, so that means you can no longer stand on top of buildings or sit in them, because of course this is the longer dispenser range that it gives you. And in addition to having a slower upgrade rate, you can see that like it upgrades slower. Uh, it doesn't apply to NG pads, you can still walk on those, but you can like sit inside your buildings and probably tank for them and this can be useful in certain situations where it's like tight hallways or if there's a spy sapping your sentry you can just run straight through and whack the spy also you can get like some cool uh wrangler cam as well so a whole lot of new stuff to experience with that just keep in mind that the upgrade rate is slower and uh, you will be there later, but this uh, phasing thing makes it really, really interesting, I think. Just to show you the uh, dispenser range here. It's pretty far away you can upgrade your stuff. Yeah, cool. So, the last weapon in this update, the Cow Mangler 5000. Because in the balance mod, the Cow Mangler doesn't light people on fire, the charge attack felt kind of weak, so we increased the damage by 25%. So that means you'll do a big whopping 174 damage at point blank. And at max range, which I think is around here, you will do 140 damage. So you won't one-shot a medic, but it will be pretty close. So we'll see how this works. I think uh, it's not the same amount of damage as with the afterburn, because with the afterburn, the damage is higher if they take all the damage. From the burn and not get extinguished but here you can see it will still pack a punch and kind of make up for you know shooting four rockets in one with a bit of a charge up we're also releasing particle fix for the dragon's fury and if you're wondering why well here's why you can see the official dragon's fury literally obscures your entire vision and flashes then we also have a reload animation for the uh, man melter well it's more of an effect really but the main part is when you extinguish someone, it doesn't obscure your entire screen and also when firing. So you can actually use this weapon and see if you're hitting anything. The file will be available on bmod.tf for download and you just put it in your customs folder. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, favorite and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video or in Discord or in game. Bye.